In this video, you will learn about injection attacks. An injection attack is when the back-end system accepts the data that the user supplies without any validation and treats it as a command. When the data is in the form that the system expects, it is all good. But if the hacker is able to inject commands, for example, drop a table in the form of data, then we have a problem. Let me try and explain this with a simple example. My friend Jackson is walking in the desert when suddenly he gets bitten by a snake. He is rushed to the hospital where the doctor checks for venom in his blood. So what is venom made up of? Snake venom is mainly made up of proteins, and so when you are bitten by a venomous snake, the snake injects highly concentrated proteins into your body, and this venom commands the body to shut down, and it can cause some serious damage, including death. Proteins are good for you if it is taken in the right amount and concentration, so don't forget to eat your proteins. However, if the amount of concentration and protein in your body is more than what it can handle, then we have a problem. So how does this relate to injection attacks? The protein is the data. Good protein is like good data. The concentrated protein in the venom is also data, but the body treats it as a command to shut down. Bad protein is a command that is masked like data. When data is interpreted as data, it is good. When the data is interpreted as a command, we have an injection attack. To protect against this, the application developers should make sure that the data is validated before it is processed, and the data is not dynamically treated as a command. In this video, you learned about what an injection attack is. In the future, I plan to demonstrate an injection attack so that you can see how it works. And for more videos like this, check out cybershallon.org. We aim to educate, equip, and empower.